Move. Oh, I'm just going to sleep too. Probably not for very long. So my mother's latest breakdown has taught me, beyond any shade of any doubt, I have to just use kid gloves with her at all times. Go to the covers. Go ahead. Go to the covers. One more. Under the covers. Go on. Go under the covers. Go on. I have to use kid gloves with her at all times. Um. And even though she likes to believe to the contrary, I need to keep in my head at all times just how sick she really is. Okay. Remember, I don't ever... No, is it Clementine or more? I don't ever, like... I'm having a bad day and I take my, mother's, my frustration down on my mom. I never, like do things like like order her like you make me dinner or you wash my clothes no I don't do any kind of shit like that the only thing even when yeah. even when I've spent hours cooking making us this huge nice dinner etc etc and I clean up the whole kitchen after she's gone to bed and the only thing I might do is like, be like, I might leave her a note, you know, because I have a different schedule than her. Like, I, Mama, I cleaned the whole kitchen except for, can you please do those last few dishes? Something like that. Um, I accept the fact that she got into her head, she can't load the dishwasher anymore. She says glasses have broken on her in there, and I've seen her load the dishwasher. I told her, Mom, I think it would be better if you don't load the dishwasher anymore and just let me leave it to me, okay? Um and I will sometimes when I've done major cleaning, I'll ask her to help a little bit. Like, I've done this, that, whatever, do you think you could sweep the floor? You know, something like that. But well, I'll right. It is my responsibility to make sure she takes her meds. I talked to her nurse in there and she's gotten into her head that she doesn't need the cogentin. The cogentin is for side effects of the meds and she's like, well, I'm not having any side effects. I don't know, Mom. You never used to years ago take cogentin and then you said you needed cogentin. So I don't know. You know, I don't know, Mom. And she's like, well... The cogentin has side effects. No shit, baby. One thing you're aware of as much as I am is all these meds have side effects and even the side effect medication has side effects. It's sick. It's horrible. There's nothing that can be done. And not when it comes to you, anyway. I will never take a single psych med unless it, I'm held down and it's forcibly injected into me. Um. Yeah. The thing that's the hardest for me is when she actually does something that, you know, pushes me over the edge or drives me nuts or, you know, then I also need to be aware that she tells stories and sometimes I'll get involved in them, but there'll be all kinds of missing pieces. So I don't, I, I need to just be kid gloves with her from now on because I'm the type and I'll be like, I've been like that with anybody. I like to know. My aunt used to, my now dead aunt, you know, used to love that about me because I would ask, I'd want to know the smallest details of everything 
and and her kids would be just like, oh, mom, just get to the point, get to the point. So she loved that about me. But someone like my mom is going to tell stories that drive me nuts because she tells stories even when she's talking about our family. And she's there's so many gaps that it, I'm like, I'd rather you not even tell me at all because it's just, it's giving me more questions than answering anything, you know. It's, pro it's causing me to have more questions than providing me answers to anything. So obviously there's a whole hell of a lot I need to work on in, in myself, you know, I know that, I realize that. She's just not as strong as I would like her to be, as I, you know, when I have to treat her with kick gloves. Just now on the phone, she's like, Macy's is having a huge sale, Lauren, and if you need clothes, you need to get someone to drive you over, Mom. I don't need any clothes. I don't want any clothes. You don't need or want any. You don't. You might want clothes, but you don't need any clothes either. And I'm not asking anyone to drive me to Macy's on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she must have watched TV and saw it in an ad, right? Saw it in a commercial. I'm gonna, I have to really just treat her with kick gloves from now on. Because even when she seems with it, or she seems like she, she's watching the news and she'll share this or that with me and she seems okay and she seems, um, it's easy for me to forget. It's easy for me to forget how sick she really is. I don't yell at her all the time. And I don't try to get her to do every single little thing I want her to do with that. I don't do that. There have been certain things regarding her health that if she wants me to not tell her what to do, then I will no longer care. I just won't care. I'll shut off my caring. I've had a lifetime practice of disassociation, of shutting off my mo. you know, it doesn't matter, I won't care. Well, go on, you had enough, I'm not giving you any more. Compared to how big I am, and how little you are, and compared to the little tiny Clementines, I gave you a good amount. I know you don't understand that because in your world you would get to have everything and I would get to have nothing. Because you're selfish. <laughs> no. It's not your fault. I know that's the case. If you had these two Clementines in front of you and you had the opportunity to share them, you wouldn't. You'd eat them all yourself. You're a hell of a lot littler than I am. You weigh 20 pounds, I weigh 170. So comparatively speaking, if we compared the, the amount of those two little tiny clementines, you would only get just a fraction of one little tiny piece. Yet I give you two whole pieces out of how many pieces? Not that many pieces in, in two little tiny clementines. I give you two. Understand? <laughs> I'm going to have this guy. I'm going to have this one. Maybe not. But yeah, like I said, that's my biggest problem is probably it's wishful thinking. I just forget how fragile she really is. You know? And I'm imperfect. And things she does, it just... But, oh, I ordered her... I ordered her a really a nice, big... has three-inch numbers because she has problems with her eyesight. Three inch numbers. And hopefully, if I have her practice, I'll just have her practice. I'll teach her how to set the damn alarm clock. And it's a little, 
It's not this big, old-fashioned 20-year-old whatever that her church friend gave her. She brought it home, and, and the way she played the radio, and she's like, she's like, yeah, so-and-so gave this to, this is about a few months ago, so-and-so gave this to me um, and showed me how to set the alarm, but I don't remember. I'm not, I'm not surprised, Mom. So hopefully this thing will be easy to set. It has huge numbers for her to see, and there'll be no more her waking up in the middle of the night and looking at her watch wrong, you know, being disoriented, turning on her light, she has a light by her bed, looking at her watch wrong and panicking and thinking that it's it's morning, thinking whatever. I, I ordered her an alarm clock from Amazon, okay? So I did that for her, and I'm going to teach her how to use it. That's another thing she does sometimes, too. She thinks she can't do anything, and I'm like, okay, well then, you, you, you can do it, you just need to practice, and she doesn't want to practice either. So, um, she needs to be able to shut the clock off and then, and and set it herself. You know, that will give her a sense of of self sufficiency. I don't want to have to be setting her alarm clock every night. The cell phone would have worked perfectly because it stays on daily. And then it goes off every single day at the same time. It's just her cell phone, phone is fucked. She ruined the old one. She can't deal with the little tiny plugs that are standard now for every cell phone, no matter how cheap or expensive. And we got her an old-fashioned one, and it's an as-is as type deal, and still paid over $100 for it, and it sucks. It sucks. The plug doesn't even go in the wall correctly, but I didn't know that because she didn't tell me, and I assumed everything was fine until I was in there trying to plug it in, and I got upset. Oh, this is a piece of crap, Mom. You didn't even tell me. We could have returned it within whatever, and you didn't even tell me it was a piece of crap. You told me you liked it. Yeah, you like it because it has a big plug that goes in the plugs in the phone part. And you fucked up your old one with the little plug. I didn't know you were fucking it up until one day. Why doesn't this work? Why doesn't this charge? And I said, you ruined it. You didn't believe me until we went and talked to the guy, and he backed me up that that's what you had done. I'm not trying to be mean, you know? She thinks I'm trying to be mean or if I imply anything or whatnot that I'm calling her crazy. I don't ever call her crazy. And I don't order her to do things for me. I make suggestions if I'm doing a huge amount of cooking or cleaning that she help a little bit. Um, last time I said, you know, you can do... You can do such and such if you want. You can wash these dishes if you want. If you don't want, I'll load them in the dishwasher tomorrow. You know, because sometimes she takes it upon herself, she washes, she doesn't want to load the dishwasher, so she washes a, a significant amount of dishes by hand, you know, it's alright, whatever, I've, I've come to expect the fact that things she washes by hand don't always come out clean, so I check, and if I use anything, and if it's not clean, I just wash it myself. Poor grandma's old mom's. I just feel like her friend didn't leave a message for me. I'm going to turn my phone down. I don't even want to be bothered. If she tries to come over here today, like, you, you, you can go. It's 10 o'clock. I don't have to have this phone so high. I that's vibrate. I've never put my phone on vibrate before. I'll put it on low. I'm a light sleeper with no airplanes. I'll hear it on low and it won't be so loud that it just, you know, just startles me awake with its loud ringing. If that woman calls again, if she calls again, I actually will probably, I don't know if I'll answer the phone, maybe, I don't know, but 